At the Kennedy Space Center, NASA scientists are learning how to grow food on Mars. The International Space Station is kind of our test bed for these technologies that we'll then be able to use on the way to Mars and on the surface of Mars. In 2014, the veggie plant growth system was first sent to the International Space Station. Several months later, crew members dined on their first meal of space-grown red romaine lettuce. Tastes good? Yeah. I like that. <laughs> kind of like arugula. It's fresh, that's all. The veggie system is a very simple chamber. The only electrical components of veggie are our LED lights and the fan. So we've grown a red romaine lettuce, we've grown the zinnia flowers, and we've grown a small Chinese cabbage. The other aspect, besides food, is the psychological benefit of growing plants, of having something green and growing while you're living and working in this kind of extreme and stressful environment. Veggie is more of a, a garden for the astronauts, but it's not a high capacity production system. And liftoff, the 100th liftoff from launch pad 39A. Earlier this month, NASA launched the Advanced Plant Habitat, a more complex system for growing fresh food in space. The Advanced Plant Habitat has over 180 sensors and control systems for every aspect of the environment. It has cameras, it has very highly controllable lights that can be operated at high intensities. On the International Space Station, the big challenge for veggie scientists is how to produce the environment correctly, like getting water distributed to plants and controlling the light. Generally, if you can grow the plant in that environment on Earth, you can probably grow it well in, in space. This, it usually expects to drop around three weeks or 21 days. Yeah, and they're only a little over two weeks old right now, so oh, next week, week we should start to see the rapid growth. Right now we're only looking at fresh crops that the astronauts can pick and eat directly because there's no way to cook anything on the International Space Station and there has been some research at some of the other space agencies looking at insects as a dietary component. The surface of Mars is not hospitable to life. There is a thin atmosphere on Mars, but it's not useful for living or for growing plants. You have dust, you have micrometeorite impacts potentially, and then you have really serious radiation. But Mars does have a number of resources. Mars has quite a lot of evidence for water. It may be frozen, it may be underground. It also has a, a small atmosphere with carbon dioxide. Anything that we do would have to be in a controlled, enclosed environment. We would have to be in some sort of a habitat, perhaps built in an underground system like a lava tube cave, or maybe we just build a very strong protective structure. But we'd have to be in a habitat to do any of this plant growth and, and for, for the humans to live. 